Hey there, welcome back. I'm Mark, and today we'll be drawing I Am Groot from the Guardians of the Galaxy. All you need for this project is a sheet of paper, a pencil, eraser, a black sharpie, and some colored markers. Using your pencil, we'll set up our Groot shape. So we're going to start over here on the left side of the page and we're gonna just lightly create this like hook, like a U shape right here. This will be the head. So we're gonna kind of do this U shape and we're gonna get a little bit wider as we go up like that. Over here, this will have almost like this little elliptical shape over there. As we come down, we're gonna go and just kind of box this in. So we're gonna have like this little rectangular shape over there. And then we're gonna do a thinner rectangular shape like this. And then there's gonna be some fingers that come this way. So if you do a rectangle, we'll have like one finger here, a smaller one here, and then like one in the middle. Then we can kind of come down and turn these inward. And then I'm going to draw a line across. And then we'll have a smaller shape right about here, smaller box. Then on this side, we'll kind of do the same thing. We'll have a little bit of a boxy shape up here. And there'll be another one for the bicep. And then we'll have three fingers over here as well. So we'll do like one finger here. And these will kind of be like up at an angle. We'll do another one like that. And then we'll have like one over in this direction. Okay, and then from here we'll do the legs. So this leg on the left side of my page is going to kind of be bent over to the left and then we're going to kind of come down like this okay and then on this side we're going to come from here this will kind of come over like this and then we'll have another foot kind of like this over here just like that so this kind of sets up our our drawing so that we're within our boundaries of our sheet of paper Okay, so if you're a little bit over to the left or above or below, it's okay. Uh, but you just don't want to be off the page, of course. Okay, so let's start with our head. So now that I have my head like this, I'm going to follow this lower curve. And then we're going to kind of come up. And then the mouth's going to be open at an angle like this. Slightly. So we'll curve these corners. Join these together. And that'll be open like that. And then we'll have like a little tongue inside there like that. Okay, and then we'll come from here. We'll draw a line like this. We'll kind of do another one like that. And then we'll draw our eyes. So just above the mouth right about here, we'll draw this eye shape like this and we won't do a perfect circle kind of stop and then we'll do another one on this side like that so we'll do two eye shapes and then these eyes are going to have like this frown so we're going to draw a line that's curved like this we're going to hook it and then we're going to come over to the left and kind of taper off like that and then we'll kind of do the same over here. We'll have a little shape that does this. And then we're going to come up and over like that. Then we'll draw a couple lines up like this. And then we'll finish off the top of the head. So right here, let's start with the biggest crack in the top of the head. So right about here, we're going to kind of come up and to the right a little bit. And then over here, we'll do a little bend like that to the left. And then we're gonna come this way. We're gonna come up that way. And there's gonna be one more crack right here like that. And then this crack will kind of bend 
and we'll come down. Okay, and then we can draw the other side. So right about here, we're gonna come over like this and up. And then we're gonna go over, there'll be a crack down. We'll draw another line like this, and this will come down at an angle with a little bump in it. And then we'll do one last one that's a little shorter, and that comes like that. Okay. So we have the top of our head. Now I'm going to come and draw a line that follows the edge like this. I'm going to do another one here. Let's do another one like that. So we're going to try to draw like th some thickness in the, the thickness of the wood. So we'll do this that comes up and over. And then over here, we'll kind of come at an angle like that. And then right over here, we'll do another one. Okay, now we're gonna draw the um, ears. So we're gonna have like a little leaf that kind of pokes over there. We'll do one right about here that kind of hooks out, kind of pops back down. And we'll draw like the center with a couple little vein shapes from the leaf. Okay. Let's put in a couple of cheek lines. So we'll do one over there. We'll do one over here. Right above the eyes, these eyebrow shapes, let's draw a line like that and then we'll do another one right there then we can put a groove right here okay now let's finish off the back side because this is kind of like an elliptical shape so we're going to see inside of the head a little bit so right over here let's go up from these shapes here and we'll draw a shape right about here that's flat then we're gonna come up, we're gonna come over, and then this is gonna kinda of come down right inside of here. Then we'll have a little bit of a thickness. We'll come down, and then this will just come and kind of dive back down right over there. Now we'll draw this thickness, we'll continue that thickness over to the left, like this. Then we're gonna kinda of come up, and then we'll have another leaf right over here. So we'll draw this leaf shape like that. And we'll do a couple little vein shapes down the center of our leaf. And then over here, we're gonna end the inside of the head. We'll curve that like this. And then we'll draw the thickness, draw a little shape like that. And then a thickness right there. And then on this side, we'll have another leaf. So this leaf will be almost touching this shape right here. So we're gonna come up and like that. We'll do the center vein and then a couple little vein shapes off of that. And right here, we'll show a little bit of a thickness right there. And then back down here, we'll kind of zigzag. So we'll go in, out, and back in, and then we'll do the thickness like this. And we'll just come like that. Okay, so we've got the top part of our head now. And we pretty much finished our head shape. Now, if you wanna come and, and just get like a little bit of bumpiness here, this can kind of come and then stop right about here and be a little bit more rounder where it kind of like points and peaks there. And then this can come and kind of stop and peak right here. And then this will be straighter like that. And we could put like a little chin line right there. Okay, so the next thing, let's go and start our arm over on this side. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna draw a line that comes down right here comes out this is going to come to come up and over like this and we're going to have another line that comes up and over like that just like this 
and that's going to kind of end like that. Then we'll have this little triangular shape over here. And then we're going to come down over in this direction for the bicep. And then right about here, we're going to kind of come down, pointing a little bit. And then these will kind of like join together like this. Then we'll have a little shape that sticks up and over right there. And then we'll draw the fingers in place. So I'm going to start with the middle finger right here and I'm going to draw a line that follows this direction here. Then we're going to go over to the right and we'll come up and then we'll be flat parallel to that line there. And then as this knuckle kind of comes up, it's going to taper in like that. Okay, and then we'll have this like triangular shape that does this. So we have our one finger there, then we're going to come down from here, and then we're going to do a smaller finger shape. So this kind of has a point down here, a little V shape. We're going to come up, and you don't want to hit the bicep, so let's stay away from that bicep. But this will kind of point, and then be a little flat like that. And you can put another little line in there. And then we'll have our top finger will come like this. And this will be pretty close to this middle finger. And then we'll hook this that way. And we'll come up and over. And this will bend that way and kind of come down like this. And then we'll have a line in the middle and maybe like a line off of that. And then we'll show the thumb on the other side. So right about here, we're going to do a line that comes up comes back over like this and it's going to come down and back into the finger over here and then we'll just join some lines like that and we'll create this shape that comes down we're going to bend this out a little bit and we're going to have another kind of bend right here this is going to come up and into the small finger up there. And then we can create a line right here. And later on, we're gonna outline all this stuff with black, so we'll kind of fill in a lot of these gaps. So down right here, we're gonna connect into that bicep. So in between these fingers and then in that bicep, just do a line there. And then we're gonna come down like this. And this right here, this will be like filled in. And we're gonna come right from here, we'll come down just a little bit over in this direction, back up and into this shape right there. Do a little line here. Then we could put some detail lines right about there. Another one here. Okay, so we have our one arm with the fingers on that side. And then what I'll do is I'll draw the chest area. So we're gonna come down in the center, we're gonna come down about here, and we're gonna draw this shape over to the left, and we're gonna do a shape over to the right. And this will be a little line in this direction. And then we're gonna come down, and then we're gonna come right into there. So this will be like our little chest area. Then we're going to have a line that comes up in this direction. It's going to cut like this. This one's going to come over. And it's going to come down like this and back up. And then we can kind of come back in and up and meet together like that. Okay, then under this, we're going to create a line right here and then we're going to come down and then we're going to flatten here and do a little notch like that, this little upside down V shape and then we're going to come over and then back up. Ok, 
okay? Then what we can do is we'll draw a little line off of here and then a little line off of here, there. And these will come towards the middle of our page. And then we're gonna come down at a slight angle like this. And then we're just gonna join those two together. And we're gonna have a little ledge right here, some detail lines. Okay, I'm gonna go and do this leg over here. So we're gonna have a little bit of a gap from our torso area. And I'm gonna draw this little piece that kind of sticks off like that. And we don't wanna to touch this arm. We don't wanna to get too close to that. So we're gonna come down like this. And then we're gonna come off of here like that. Then I'm gonna come down in this direction. This is gonna kind of point like that. And then we'll flare this out. And then as we're coming in this direction, this will kind of come up like that. There'll be a little bit of a smaller shape right here like that. Okay, and then we can just have another crease right here, that'll join, and then there'll be like a crack in the in the wood right there. Okay, and now we can draw like a little stump down, down where that knee is. We'll come out like that. We'll come over back towards the center. Then we'll come out in this direction. We'll come down, it'll be like a little crack in this piece. Then we'll come over, up, and then back here. And this will do the same. So we'll have like this little edge there. And then this is gonna come down. And this shape here that we drew, this knee shape right here, this is gonna come down right about there. And then on this side, we're gonna flare this out a little bit. And it's gonna come back like that. Then we'll have this little triangular shape with a toe like this. And then this will have another kind of toe coming off of that side right there. Just like that. Okay. sticking up right there and then we'll have a little piece kind of sticking up over there we can draw a little line a groove there and then one from below like that all right so our baby Groot is starting to make shape here nicely okay now let's go over to this side and we'll draw this other leg first and then we'll finish off with the arm. So on this side we're gonna come right about here and then we're gonna come over and down and then this is gonna kind of go towards the bottom right of our page. And it's gonna hook over there so this will be kind of like the kneecap right here. So we want to do this like round shape like that. And then it's gonna come up and have these like little splinters that kind of broke apart like this and we'll draw one more just like that and then this kind of has like some cracks in the wood like that okay all right and then we'll just do a kneecap over here like that and down here we'll have a little crack like so. And then we'll draw another stump down in this direction. So we're gonna come from this spot about here and we're gonna come down and over and kind of like back in like that. And down in this corner kind of has like a little bit of a crack just like this. And then from the kneecap, I'm gonna come over 
and then this will just come straight down almost. Then on this side here, we'll come down at an angle. This will have like a little heel shape right there. This will come over and then we'll have like a toe that kind of comes up and points to the right. This might be a little bit too big, so I'll kind of shorten that just like this. And I'll draw another toe right about here that kind of connects to the edge of that stump. And then this toe will come over like that. gonna have some lines that kind of come up like this and then this crack will have an edge just like that I always put a few more little cracks in place okay now over here we'll draw the other arm in place now, I'm just gonna draw my fingers first. So I'm gonna have three fingers and then I'll draw the bicep and the shoulder piece. So right about here, I'm gonna draw a pointy shape that kind of comes down. And then this is gonna be kind of like this knuckle shape that comes up. And then this is gonna connect like that. Then right here for the middle finger, we're gonna come over like that. And then this is going to be flat and tapered over to the right just a little bit. And it's going to get wider over here. So this is narrow. It's going to get a little bit wider. It's going to come and then this will have like a little crease like this. And then for our top finger, we're going to draw a line that kind of follows this shape right here in, in sorts. And we're going to come over. It's going to kind of come up and back to the left and then right up here we're gonna hook this and then this is gonna be almost horizontal like that and this will kind of come down just beyond the shape here okay then we'll extend this finger over to the right this will come down and kind of back towards this middle finger right here this will come up like that then we'll see the palm shape on the inside here. And then the last thumb shape will be right here. So we'll hook this over. This will come up. And this is going to go right over top there and just kind of dive back down into that. Okay. So it's going to be like this. Then let's go back to this lower, smaller finger. We're going to come over to the right. Gonna come out a bit and then we're joining up like this and then we're gonna come down right about here and there's gonna be a piece that sticks out here and then these are gonna get kind of join together right so we're gonna come down like this and then this is gonna join in that direction and then we're gonna have a gap right about here like this and then there'll be a little split over there Okay, and then we're gonna have a little bit of a black shape that kind of goes into the background. It's kind of, you don't see it, it's gonna just be dark. It's gonna come down, I'm gonna come up, over, like this, and we're gonna come right about here. And now we'll draw the bicep. So coming in between the middle finger and this smaller finger here, we're gonna come up, and over just a little bit and then this is gonna come down and we're gonna come back in be like a little bit of a crack it's gonna come down in this direction and then it's gonna kind of split off into two there'll be a small rock shape right there and we'll have another rock right about here just like that okay so have a rock there. And then coming off of our chest area here, we're gonna kind of come down over there like this. And then where this is, we're gonna have our upper 
shoulder area. So find your mouth, the top of the mouth right here, and then it's gonna be like right about here, there's gonna be a little piece that sticks out and it's gonna come down. Now be careful, we don't want it to go into this thumb, but if you do, it's okay, but if we can stay away from it, it's gonna be better. So maybe come back down over here and we'll draw a line that goes towards that thumb and then cuts back in this direction and then like that. So we have this like, these steps that kind of come down and then we'll draw this little twig shape off of that. And then we'll come down back towards the face a little bit and then we'll have like this major crack that's happening right here. And this is gonna go in that direction and then we'll just join those together to kind of have like this major crack happening right here just like that okay I'll just put a couple more little detail shapes in here and then come back here a couple more shapes draw a line like that and this major crack and then we can have like another crack that happens kind of like right in here this will come down and just join right in there now let's go back to the eyes and just thicken the eye a little bit okay so we're gonna have this line that comes like that and this is gonna thicken like this and we'll have this pretty thick over here That's gonna get nice and thick. And we'll have a few little extra lines right here, one down there. And we'll put in a bunch of these little creases when I go and marker this in. All right guys, so we just finished pencil drawing our baby Groot shape from the Guardians of the Galaxy. Now the next step for me will be to just take my black Sharpie and go and kind of darken all of my shapes that I want. Okay, I'm gonna use my eraser and erase all of those pencil lines. Grab some yellows and oranges and kind of like these brown tones and we're gonna color in Baby Groot. Well, I hope you enjoy drawing Baby Groot with me from Guardians of the Galaxy. Please like the video and subscribe to my channel because see these videos over here? I do them every weekday. And until the next one, I'll see you then. Bye-bye.